welcome to a Creative Expressions video to show you how to use metallic gilding polish. Now these are an ingenious product brought to us by Cosmic Shimmer that are absolutely amazing and so easy to work with. So if you've not seen these before, what we actually have here is our jar filled full of our product and then in the top here we have our applicator sponge. So all you're going to do is just pop a little bit of pressure using your thumb to remove the applicator which is built into the lid and then when we unscrew the product we have our lovely rich creamy gilding polish ready for you to use. Now there are many techniques that we can use these for. The first one I'm going to show you is how we can just literally cover over a sheet of card. So for this I'm going to take my applicator, I'm going to build up just a small ramp on the side of the jar so that my applicator is covered but it's not lumpy and bumpy. We just want a smooth finish on that one so that we've got a nice even coverage. We can then bring this on and go straight down our card to get that perfect coverage every time. Now these are quite good because they'll cover over MDF, I'll show you that a little later on. We can also use them on dark card as well as light card, so we can certainly build up our backgrounds and um, our pieces along them lines as well. This is one of them products that we can bring in in many places as well, so we can do many different techniques and then use the card behind it to actually coordinate. So we can literally build up our sheet going across here. It's a water-based product, it's available in 30 different colours, so there's an awful lot you can build up and there's certain techniques that we can do where we bring multiple colours in at once as well. And then once we have covered over this, we have created our very own pearl card, that quick and that easy. And very inexpensive because you could be using this on top of any of the cardstock you already own to make your components match very easily. Another technique which we can do with the metallic gilding polish is actually stamping with them. I know it's a bit of a surprise, it's not a technique that you might imagine we can do with these, but they look incredible. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've got my Vassen Creative Stamp Press. I've already popped on here just a small flower stamp from Woodware. And this time we're going to use our Ocean Teal. We're going to take our applicator out exactly the same as we did before. We're going to build up the same ramp using our product on the side of the jar. And we're then going to take the applicator and go across the stamp how you normally would with an ink pad, just to get a nice coverage actually on top of the stamp. Now this is a very quick drying product, so we do have to be prepared that it may already set on your stamp, especially if we're doing large areas. So what we're going to do is we're going to mist it with just a small amount of water using a mister bottle, just to reactivate the product and make it ready for our stamping. Try not to put too much water on because we don't want our image to become blurry. And we're literally just going to go across and stamp that down. Now this works just as nice on black card as well, depending on the colour that you're using. Once we've stamped that, we can see that you've got that really flawless metallic stamping that looks really, really beautiful. We can, of course, also edge our cardstock with these polishes as well. So this time, let's go for hay bale to show you a different shade. Exactly the same, I'm going to take my applicator out of my lid. I'm going to build up a little ramp just on the side here. And we can literally just go down the side of our cards. I'm going to bring in a piece of paper to work on. We're literally just going to go round the side here just so I can show you that although like we showed you earlier we can do the whole card, sometimes you don't want to use product in areas you're not going to be seeing it. So why not just edge small areas and then when you bring in other layers we can literally just pop them on top and just get that hint of colour. Again you're saving money then with your product, saving you by an expensive card for your layers. And then we can bring in another shade maybe and pop that on top and then you've, you've not covered up really lovely paper, you can use your standard card with the polishes to create them effects. We can of course also edge our die cuts and die cutting of course is a big part of um, crafting in general. So why not look at your die cuts and think about how we can bring these same products into creating better die cut images or products. So I've got a flower here that I've already cut. I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm gonna build up on my little applicator sponge just a little bit of product. And we're just gonna brush that against the tips of our flower. Now if we wanted to, of course, we could have coloured our flower already. We could, of course, colour a whole sheet of card and die cut it if we want to. There really is no end to the different ways we can use these. But I quite like just sort of frosting against the tips of the petals with a shade like this one. Just gives you more depth to your flower and your die cut gives you no effect to them. So it's quite a nice way to decorate those up and give you a bit of a pearlescent finish to the tips there. 
So another way in which we can use our metallic gilding polishes is to go over the top of embossed card. So this time I've already jumped ahead and I've embossed a sheet using our Foundations Coconut White card and a piece of our Black Foundations card because I really want to show you how this product is going to work well on light tones and dark tones as well. So same again, use your applicator sponge, build up your little ramp on the side of the jar, covering the applicator, especially over embossed card, it's really important that we don't have any lumps and bumps on the applicator because we don't want the product to go into the gaps. So a really nice smooth finish actually on your applicator. Then literally just bring your product on and swipe over the top. And it's gonna just go over the tips of your embossing so that you get that really nice effect. Just glide gently and remember that we can always build up our layers so it's better that we put less on and build than go on too heavy or put on too much pressure and go into them gaps. So just glide over the top of it. Oh, hold on to your sponge. <laughs> we can also do exactly the same on dark cards. So as I mentioned, this is our black card. We can bring our product on and we can literally go straight over the top of this. And then of course, in our recesses, we have that lovely dark black coming through to give you a contrast in shade. As you can see, your polish will cover perfectly. And I actually have some swatches I wanted to share with you at this um, stage to explain to you how different colours may react on the white and the dark cards or lighter and darker shades. So this one, for instance, this is our pearl luster polish. So this one's obviously a lighter product. So on our dark card, our black foundations card once again, we can see it gives us that sort of steel effect, that really sort of metal actual finish. On white card, it's perfect for snow. It gives you that really lovely pearly white finish so again it's good for weddings bits like that some other colors to show you as well this is actually the graphite shade so this is our dark black virtually shade of um, metallic gilding polish and as we can see even on the black here we've got that really lovely metallic finish once again and that too will cover over your white card so when we're thinking of the different techniques i'm going to show you in today's video these really are shades that you're going to be able to come back to time and time again with 30 shades in the collection there's an awful lot of options and ways that we can build these up so another thing that we felt was important to show you is once you have done your background sheets there's now nothing stopping you from die cutting these or embossing them if you wish to so i'm going to pop ahead and i'm going to use my vatten creative die cutting machine the cut em easy we're going to just bring that in here i'm going to take a piece of card which i've already covered in the rich red metallic gilding polish and we're going to use one of our 3d embossing folders and i'm just going to pop that card into there now of course when you're doing this do make sure that your card is dry before you pop it into your machine but that may take you just a moment or so for that to actually set you can of course if you wish to if you're not sure you can go over the top of it with a heat gun and really make sure that it is set so once that's gone through our machine we can then literally take that out of our 3d embossing folder and you can now see the texture that has been created on our card with our 3d folders as well so there is nothing stopping you from doing this to your card as well. You could, of course, at this stage, if you wish, bring in the, your colours again and go over the top of them. So like in the last stage, we show you how you could go over embossed card. If we go back to our lovely um, gold treasure, we can once again pick the colour up and we can go over the top of our um, sheet this time. So we can actually build our colours if we want to. They're going to give you a good coverage on that. And we can just literally highlight areas which again is going to give you a different effect if you wish to. We can of course just distress around the edges with it slightly as well. There's no limit to these. You're going to be able to build them up and play about with them in so many ways. These are a few sheets that I've already done to show you just a different effect that you can achieve on embossing folders. So this one's obviously quite an open work folder, unlike the last one we looked at. So there's no reason why we can't build up your polish and actually go through and highlight the areas around the embossing. So like this time, we've got the coconut white just shining through actually on them areas, or in this case, the lovely black foundations card. So you can really build up your contrast like that as well. Give your um, embossing a whole new lease of life by using the polishes. Another technique that we can create using our embossing folders with our metallic polish is if we wish to do letterpress techniques with them. So I'm going to take the rose bed embossing folder this time and we're going to work on one side of it. Now obviously you can work on it either, it's going to give you a different effect whether you're working on the embossed or the debossed side of your folder. So again play around with that depending on the design and the colours you wish to use and the areas you wish to use them in. I'm going to use some purple mist this time from our polishes. Exactly the same again. I'm going to take my applicator out. I'm going to build up my little ridge on the side here, a little ski slope, just to get a nice coverage over my applicator. I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to pad it across my 
embossing folder try not to miss any areas doesn't matter if i go over the line here of course because if that's the back and we're not going to see that on our card so just try to be neat exactly the same as you would um, when you were doing your embossing folder if you find it easier you can sort of drag across it like you did with your embossing so whatever works for you again depending on the folder depends on how you might find it easier to work with but just glide across it as you wish to getting a nice coverage and then like we did when we did the stamping with it we're just going to miss this with a bit of water because once again similar to the stamp you might find your product starts to set actually on your embossing folder we're then going to take a piece of coconut white card we're going to pop that in the folder and we're going to close that over and i'm going to bring back in my vasen creative machine so i can run this through so once that's gone through our machine we can now reveal the top part open up our folder and see our letterpress technique in action. So all of our product that was on our embossing folder has transferred onto our coconut white card and gone in and actually infilled all of the gaps on our embossing folder to give us that really lovely metallic finish. Now if you need to, if you do have areas that are missing, you can always do this again and send it back through, but just pop it in the same place in your folder and repeat the process to build up them layers if you feel the need to. Again, another way that we can actually finish this off if we want to, is bring in another colour and go across the top of it. So this time I'm going to bring in some Blossom. We're going to do exactly the same again. We're going to use our applicator sponge. We're going to build this up and we're going to glide over the top. Now don't forget this is a water-based product. So although I have it on my embossing folder, I'm not worried about the damage to the embossing folder because there won't be any. Just wash it off in some hot water and it will remove all of the gilding polish so your folder is back ready for you to use again as you wish to. So this time gliding over the top of the blossom, we're once again just kissing over the top of the embossing and giving ourselves another two-tone effect. So as I mentioned earlier, you can really build these up and play around with your colours. With 30 to collect, you can really come up with some different techniques and different ways in using them. I'm only going to do half of it this time so you can see the difference between if we leave it with the coconut white coming through or if we wish to add the blossom over the top to give you a different effect. It's just a different way that you can actually play around with them and create different effects with them. Another use that we have for our metallic gilding polish is actually using these as a paint, which is a really good value for money saving tip. Because what we can do with this this time is we can take our lid off. This time I'm going to go for the purple mist colouring. I'm going to hook a little bit out with um, just an ordinary paintbrush or water brush. The choice is yours. I'm going to mix a bit of water from my water brush into the product. And because it's water based, you're going to find that you create yourself a paint very easily very quickly and now we can actually paint with this as well. I've already jumped ahead and I've stamped and heat embossed in gold one of our designer boutique stamps. This is of course our lovely dragonfly. And we're just going to go in and we're going to paint over some of the areas just to show you how easy it is to paint with. Now because I've embossed this, the embossing is going to resist our paint as well. Um, you could of course mix your colours, you could use all of the 30 colours that are in the range to build up your stamping or colouring ability if you wish to and as you can see you can use that as a paint and once dry it will give you that same metallic -y, pearly finish as it has when it's gone over our card as well so painting with these is going to open up a whole new world of ways that you can actually use the polishes another creation that we can create with our lovely metallic gilded backgrounds is if we actually wish to stamp on top of them or heat emboss on top of them. So again, depending on the ink you're using, there's nothing preventing you now from stamping all over these and using this as your background. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, I've got my Vasen Creative Stamp Press back, I've changed to a different woodware flower and I'm going to use my perfect medium ink pad to go across the top of my flower so that I can heat emboss an image on top of our card. So before we actually stamp our image, I'm going to bring in one of our anti-static pads. I'm going to go across the top of my card. So this one has actually been covered in the rich red from the metallic polishes. So we're just going to pop on our um, anti-static. We're going to pop this into our stamping press, our stamping platform. And then we're going to bring over our stamp and stamp that down. Once we remove this from our stamping platform, we can then bring in our embossing powder. So for this, I'm going to use some Cosmic Shimmer Bright Gold Detail Embossing Powder. And we're going to pop that over the top of our stamped image. 
And because we've used our anti-static pad, we don't need to worry about any stray powder. That's all nice and clean and crisp and ready to stamp or heat. Pop our powder back in the jar and pop that out of the way for the moment while bringing our heat on. And as we can see, we now have our heat embossed element on top of our lovely pearlized background using our metallic gilding polish. So again, a very easy way to build those up, give you some really nice backgrounds with your stamps as well. Now, lastly, for our techniques, I wish to show you that how you can use these on MDF as well. So I've got a, one of our MDF tags and let's go for a different color this time, shall we? Oh, let's go for this one. This is our Indian pink. Nice, incredibly bright shade here. We're going to do exactly the same again. We're going to build up a little ramp on the side here using our applicator. And there's no need to prime your MDF. There's no need for gessoing it at all. You can literally just take your polish and go straight over the top of your tag. Um, of course, depending on your shade, you might want to build up a couple of coats, but most of the colours will colour straight over your MDF and give you that perfect metallic sheen from your gilding polish. So as you can see, really quick to actually apply and gives you that lovely metallic sheen on top of your MDF as well. Now, lastly, before I let you go, I would just like to talk to you a little bit about the maintenance of your product. So with our products, they're perfectly fine to be used and um, pop to one side. If you're going to come back to them in the next few days, you don't need, really need to worry about anything at all. But if you are going to store them, and we're all guilty of this, aren't we? Sometimes we pop our product in a drawer or on the side for a little while. There is a tip that we can give you that's going to help your product and keep it fresh and ready for you to use every time. All you're going to do is take a mister with just some ordinary water in it and actually mist into the top of your product. Just three or four spritzes. This will keep it fresh because it will, of course, dry in the air. And we've allowed the air to get into there. The water will keep it moist and ready for you to use again and again. Pop the lid back on and that is now ready to store. Your applicators. Now, once again, we have product on these. So you have a couple of choices. You can either wash them through just with some hot water and have your applicators ready for clean and ready for use again next time. Or if you wish to, just take your mister and once again, just apply a few mists of water to it. And that will mean that your applicator won't dry and it will be ready for you to use next time you come back to your product. And you can now store that away and come back to it when you're ready. So with over 30 colours available in the Cosmic Shimmer Metallic polishes, you have got an awful lot of choices ahead of you to work out which one of the 30 you wish to go for, or if you're going to build up your little collection. So I hope this little video has given you some inspiration on how you can use them and ideas for you to get on with your crafting. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you soon. Bye for now.